are going to feature a testimony by a man of God named Mickey Robinson. You're going to be absolutely amazed when you hear this story because he was in a plane crash that, that literally destroyed him. In fact, it killed him. And yet he's alive to tell the tale. Hold on to your seat, seats right now and listen to this amazing, outstanding testimony of the goodness of God. I'd never met anybody who ever told me about anything personally, knowing God or anything supernatural, other than historically what I knew from stories from the Bible. Um, never met one person who told me they had a real relationship with Jesus. Never knew about uh, the need to really come into a relationship with, with the Lord through Jesus. And uh, I was busy getting it on. But, you know, there's not enough excitement in the world to ever satisfy. You always got to have more. And I like stuff that was edgy, you know, advent, you know, skiing. And, and I always liked aviation stuff. And so I started taking flying lessons. Then I, I thought it would be more fun jumping out of airplanes. So I became a sport parachutist. And that really got me. I mean, I became obsessed with skydiving. It really consumed my life. My existence uh, revolved around that 30 to 60 seconds in free fall and that five minute parachute ride, then I had to do it again. It's like, mm -hmm. like a drug, you know, it's, it's like good. An addiction. Oh, totally. And then all of a sudden, one night, all that was going to change. Shortly after takeoff, I don't really recall much because I was kind of dozing off, uh, sitting next to the pilot, or actually sitting on the floor next to the pilot where we moved the seats in this new aircraft. And I was awakened by a sound that unfamiliar to me. It was the sound of the motor going completely silent. Uh -oh. And the pilot turned to me and he slapped me. He says, that's it, we're going down. So we just pitched forward and we're, wow. we plummeted straight down at over 100 miles an hour. And what was seen out of the cockpit, and this was told to me, I don't recall this, but we were going straight to the ground and we're headed right towards a gigantic oak tree. We did hit that tree going, like I said, over 100 miles an hour. And my face stopped my body going 100 miles an hour. So wow. I, uh, then the airplane cartwheeled on its wings and slammed into the ground. If you see pictures of the aircraft, it, I don't know if anybody could survive this. So there was obviously injury and confusion, and the two students got pushed out the doorway and by one of my friends who was 